it's me from Old Sables Crafts, Liz Yule, independent stamping up demonstrator. And I've got a beginning, the beginning of a series of Top Tip Tuesdays. So I'm going to flip you down and we'll take a look. So I have dug out all of my adhesive. Well, nearly. I've left one behind. There we are. Because I thought it might be helpful to go through all of the adhesive that we have um, in the Stamping Up catalogue. And then in the coming weeks, I will talk through what you can use each of the items for. I admit I do not have one of the items because I just don't get on with it. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't find the fine tip glue pen pin, ugh, pin fine tipped glue pen terribly user friendly. It's partly because I have aging eyes and I find getting the nib, the, the pin into the nib every time almost impossible. It, it, there are ways around it. I know there are ways around it, but you know, um, and I actually find that other than making a glossy surface, which is great if you want to have, if you want to fill a stamped image and make it glossy. Other than that, I don't really see that it does anything more than the multi-purpose liquid glue. So there we are. Um, so I'm going to talk you through what, what I've got here because you may have not registered some of these items. So let's start. Um, there is a uh, an adhesive breakdown that demonstrators get to have, and um, for some reason you don't. But I'm going to I'm going to sort that out so I can get it on my website for you. Um, it'll be just in English, but it then tells you what you can use everything for. So I'm going to start at the top of that list, and the first thing that they talk about is are the foam adhesive sheets. These are a relatively new item in the catalogues. Um, I think they were new last year, maybe the year before, um, but basically they are a whole piece of adhesive foam that is in effect one large dimensional. So you can use them for the back of die cuts, um, all sorts, or you could cut them into strips if you want to have thin strips for sentiments and things. Um, I'm just going to compare them. They are slightly fatter than dimensionals. I suspect that for the UK they would be large letter, but we'll deal with that when we come to what to do with foam adhesive sheets. So that's foam adhesive sheets. Let me find the adhesive page in the catalogue and then I can also tell you how much each of them are because that would be quite useful information too. So page 127. And as I say, over the coming weeks, I am going to talk you through each of these adhesives. So foam sheets are for six sheets. There's one missing out of here. Um, I've obviously opened the packet. Uh, they're four and a half by four and five sixteenths or 11 by 11.4 centimetres. So four and a half by four and five sixteenth inches, 11 by 11.4 centimetres. Um, and they cost seven pounds 50 for a pack of six. Next on my list are foam adhesive strips. And these are there, you get two sheets in a packet and that's the equivalent of 40 strips. Uh, they are four and a half. No, that's the wrong one. They are, where are they? Four. They are um, nine inches in length and they're an eighth of an inch deep. But they don't, oh no, an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch wide. Brilliant for shaker cards. Again, um, I would suggest that they're the same thickness as our foam adhesive sheets. They will make your card into a large letter. As I say, great for um, shaker cards. Next, we have mini glue dots. Love these. So they are exactly what they say. They are little dots of glue. Um, I find picking them up with a with my take your pick or 
pushing my uh, embellishment onto the um, glue dot is the easiest way of dealing with it. Uh, they're great for small die cuts, all sorts of things, but mini glue dots, you get roughly 300 um, and they're three sixteenths or five millimeters wide in diameter. Uh, and they're only five pounds a pack. Oh, I didn't give you the price of the adhesive strips. Strips, seven pounds fifty for the adhesive strips. So next on our list is my all-time favourite adhesive, multi-purpose liquid glue. It's not a large pot, but it lasts forever. Um, I reckon I get through one of these in well, it's probably more than a month, uh, and I use it a lot because obviously I'm doing demonstrations all the time. Uh, you get uh, 0.9 of an ounce or 27 millilitres. I'm guessing it's 0.9 of a fluid ounce. It doesn't say that. It's acid free, so it's great for scrapbooking. Um, and it's only £4.50 for a little, the, these pots. They're great. Absolutely fantastic. Fan dabby dozy. Uh, next is stamping seal, which is this. Um, you can get both the seal with the um, the handle or you can get the refill uh, there are 15 meters or 16.4 yards on each reel it's a permanent adhesive it's great for card and paper you can use it for ribbon personally I wouldn't I'd use seal plus but great for card and paper I wouldn't use it for boxes but we'll cover all of this in more detail as we go through each um, each adhesive over the next few weeks so £7.50 for the whole thing or £5.25 if you just want the refill. They're really easy to refill. You just split, famous last words of course, you just split the handle or the case in half, take out one cartridge and put the other one in. Again, I will do a full demonstration of that when we get to seal week. Um, seal plus is... Um, so this, the seal is a continuous adhesive strip. This is lots of little adhesive strips. It's a much stronger adhesive. Um, so these I would use for construction, like boxes. Um, you do need to be a little bit careful that you don't tear your paper and card. Again, we'll go through that as we cover it later on. This is my go-to for ribbon. Absolutely amazing. Seal Plus with the handle, with the case, is £11.25. The refill is £7.50. There is a way of saving money and I will talk to you about that when we get there. Stamping dimensionals. We have quite a few stamping dimensionals. We have the large original size. We have the small in the white originals. Um, then we have black as a combo. So you get a lot, you get large and small. So the ordinary um, dimensionals are whether you go for the mini or the standard size are just four pounds for a pack you get 300 in the standard size you get 720 in the mini so really good value these are a quarter of an inch the originals are three eighths of an inch i would actually think they're slightly bigger than that but anyway that's what it claims um so these are really fantastic the black which I would use on all dark colours. Uh, you get a combo. Um, you get, uh, it says 200 pieces. That's not right. It's 200 of the large, 480 of the small, but you get, you get, you get 680 in total. Let me find a new packet. I think I had a, yes, I do have. Uh, you get, no, that's just small. You get, you get. I'll get a new, brand new packet out. Uh, black. Here we go. You get four sheets. You get two large and two small. Um, for the ordinary dimensionals, you get three sheets of each um, in two in separate packets. So you get the large or the small. In the black, you get the large and the small, two sheets of each in the packet. And they are just 5 75 for the four sheets. Um, last, but by no means least, is tear and tape, which is amazing double-sided adhesive. It is 
Um, £6.75 for 27 yards or 24.7 metres. Again, it's acid free, um, so you can use it on um, scrapbooking. The only the only things that don't claim... Oh, no, they all claim to be. So acid free, dimensionals, foam strips, um, cling adhesive we haven't spoken about. We also haven't spoken about the adhesive sheets. So adhesive sheets this is basically just full width sticky um and you have a release paper size aside and uh an other side but it means you can die cut those fiddly things um and rather than having to glue them you just turn them into a sticker they're amazing they are 12 sheets and they're each six inches by 12 inches wide and they come with two inch um release strips so really great. Uh, you can get cling adhesive as well, which is if you want to retrofit um, cling adhesive to your stamps. Uh, there is also um, the heat and stick embossing powder, um, which I'm not covering under my adhesive top tips. Um, that's an embossing thing. So we'll cover that when we get there. But I think other than that, I have covered everything yes now this doesn't claim to be acid free the adhesive sheet um, the foam sheets are so basically the only thing that isn't claiming acid free is this all of our other adhesives are claiming acid free that's not to say that this won't be acid free but I'm not going to say it is because we don't claim that it is. So that is our in introduction to adhesive. I keep adhesive in stock. Um, so if you ever need it and you're in the UK, contact me because I can easily send some out to you. Uh, I've also still got some of my adhesive starter packs available. I will link the information for those in the description bar below this video. Um, and it comes in a nice plastic case with seal, um, multi-purpose liquid glue, mini dimensionals, sorry, mini, not mini dimensionals, mini glue dots is what I'm trying to say, and a pack of dimensionals. So it's a good basic kit. Um, but as I say, the information for that will be li linked in the description bar below. So I hope you have found that introduction useful. So it's a very quick introduction and over the coming weeks I will go through each of the adhesives with the possible exception of the fine tip glue. I may succumb and get some fine tip glue. Um, my old ones I had a hissy fit with so I threw them out but I may succumb to a new pot of fine tip glue. It's actually, Again it's very good value it's only £6.75 for a bottle and it goes on forever. Um, but Thank you very much indeed for watching. Let me bring me back to face. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I do hope you found that helpful. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you would like to see the uh, future Top Tip Tuesdays about adhesive, do remember to click that um, subscribe button and hit the alert bell so that you know when I go live because they're not as regular as I would like them to be at the moment. Um, anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I look forward to seeing, for, seeing you very soon. Bye bye.